Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here at the review of the Blade Nano CPS from Horizon Hobby. Uh, now if you followed my channel for a while, you may have seen I had some old videos of the original Nano CPX. Uh, I never did a full review of it though. Uh, but this is the new updated version, the S. Uh, now it has uh, Blade's uh, safe technology, which is basically a 6-axis... Uh, stabilization it has an accelerometer now so it will self level and you know it only has so much of a bank angle so that makes it a lot easier to fly however you know you're not going to be doing 3d stunts with that on you've got to turn it off but if you're just flying around normal helicopter mode it makes it so much easier to fly uh, I can fly this around the kitchen now and just be really precise with it uh, so pretty pretty nice little update here, and this is a full collective pitch helicopter, so it's 3D capable. If you turn off the safe, you know, six axis and just go to the three axis uh, agility mode, now you can you know get rolls and you can fly inverted and do TikToks and all your standard 3D stuff. But I'm I'm no 3D pilot, so I just leave it in six axis mode and do you know more scale and sport flying circuits and stuff like that. And it is just great for that. The the safe system with the stabilization and the auto leveling just makes it such a nice flight. It's uh, real carefree and stress-free now and just a lot more enjoyable, especially uh, flying indoors. I just have the bind and fly version, so I don't have the transmitter for it. I've got mine bound up to my DX6, which the manual will tell you how to set everything. Uh, it does have this uh, panic recovery crash protection. So when I've got it bound to my DX6, the trainer button, if I press and hold it, you know, whatever mode I'm in, if I'm doing 3D and I'm flying upside down, if I press and hold the trainer button, it's going to turn the accelerometer on and level out and kind of hover. And, you know, that way you can recover and get out of any problems and then continue on with your flight. Um, but it does have the three different modes. You've got, you know, your low angle and high angle stability mode where you've got your six axis and you've got, you know, however much lean they give you. And then the third um, agility mode where you have no limit. You can do full rolls and 3D stunts and everything. And, you know, this is a collective pitch helicopter, so you've got, you know, throttle curves and pitch curves and idle up and all that. So I'm not going to get into all those kind of details because if you're um, looking into CP helicopters, you probably are already familiar with that. And I've already covered that kind of stuff back in my old CPX video. So if you're getting into it and considering this and you don't know that stuff, go check out my old videos uh, for that kind of information. So I'm going to leave this more you know, consider to review for people that already understand what collective pitch helicopters are, not get into all the details. Uh, so this is the battery. It is a 150 milliamp hour 45C 1S LiPo. So lots of punch there at that 45C rating. And then it comes with a little USB charger here, which is a pretty neat, convenient little charger. Um, it takes about 33 minutes to charge, and you get about six minute long flights. And there's no LVC warning, at least not that I saw. You know, there may be a little red light inside that blinks, but you know, not enough that you're going to see at a distance. So you're going to want to use your timer on your transmitter or some other form of, of timer. Uh, to make sure that you you know you know your flight times so you don't run out uh, but you know with as light as this is you know this thing is super durable I mean if you again go look at my old CPX videos I'm trying to fly the three axis in my kitchen I'm bouncing it off stuff and these things can really take a beating just because they're so light they don't really have much force going into a crash so they are actually a pretty good way to try to learn um, 3D or just getting used to flying a CP helicopter because they are a little bit different in their throttle control uh, being that the actual pitch of the blade changes not just the speed so they can be a little more touchy uh, comes with a screwdriver here it's a pretty nice metal screwdriver actually and then uh, we've got some spare parts we've got a spare tail rotor and then we've got um, not exactly spare blades. These are different blades. As you can see here, these are, you know, traditional smooth blades. 
and then these have these bullets on them which make them track better so it makes them more stable but yet they're um, not as good for 3d so they, they aren't going to transition and change as fast uh, so if you're just beginning and you want a you know more mild flight and more stability you're going to want to use those bulleted, bulleted blades but if you're moving up and trying to do fast sporty stuff and doing 3d you're going to want these blades uh, let's see. I did find it, you know, even though it does have the six axes, it's not like this thing just sits there and hovers on a dime. It still, it still drifts around a little bit, and it's not as stable as a quadcopter or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, if you move forward and let off the sticks, it levels itself out, and that's really what the six axis is about in a helicopter. It's not like it's going to just make it sit there and hover perfectly. So if you're trying to hold a hover, you're still going to be making, you know, constant little stick adjustments to try to keep it, you know, stable. It'll, it'll drift around on its own still pretty good, even with the six axis stabilization, but it is super controllable. I mean, I'll, I'm going to do an indoor flight around the kitchen, uh, just to show you how precise it is. And if you want to go back and compare it to my CPX videos, you know, I try to yaw and the thing pitches off and it goes and crashes into the kitchen or into the uh, refrigerator or whatever. Whereas now, you know, I can just sit there and just do pirouettes with this thing in the middle of the kitchen and do circuits and figure eights and it's super easy to fly. So I'll start out with an indoor flight and then we'll take it outside and see what it can really do. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm not a 3D pilot, so I'm not going to be doing 3D with it. Uh, I'll just be staying in six axis mode and doing sport flying and circuits and stuff like that. Uh, but I, sh you know, I'll at least be able to show you what it can do in that manner. Uh, but yeah, that looks like that's about it. So let's go check out some flights. All right, this is the flight review of the Nano CPS. I'm going to do a little indoor flight and then we'll take it outdoors so I can get a little crazier with it. But I just wanted to fly indoors to just kind of show how precise and controllable it is. And if you saw my older video with the original Nano CP before they added safe with the six axis stabilization, I tried flying it in here and it was quite hard. So uh, this will be a good comparison to show how much easier it is now with six axis. Uh, and again, I'm not a 3D pilot, so I won't be doing any actual 3D with it. I'll just be flying normal. So. All right, here we go. So we'll just kind of get a hover going. Got a little bit of drifting going on. Let me kind of trim it out a little bit. pirouettes which was pretty much impossible with the original one that's I mean, I'm not doing anything that's just the stabilization system keeping it stable very smooth and precise and easy to fly Gonna try to get a little funnel going. Not bad. Alright, well, I think that proves it's good indoors and nice and stable and precise. Let's take it in for a landing. There we go. And now I'll go ahead and take it outside and so I can get a little more uh, fast with it and do some a little bit more crazy flying. So let's go check that out. All right, this is the outdoor flight of the Blade Nano CPS. And like I said, I'm no 3D pilot, so I'm not gonna be doing any 3D. I'll just do some sport circuit flying. And as you can hear, as I move it, the servos move. It's got that six axis uh, stabilization, leveling and correction and everything. So it's trying to correct for all the movements I'm doing. Pretty neat, makes this thing a nice stable little flyer. I'll be flying it with my Spectrum DX6. Take throttle hold off and I'm in high rates. 
And there she goes. Kind of get it trimmed out first. Looking pretty good. Right in a tight funnel there. Not sure how well this is going to show up on camera all the time. It's a little guy. But try to keep it fairly close to the camera while also being able to fly pretty fast and sorty. That's full pitch there. Not a ton of pitch. Doing some weird kind of dipping into the wind. Not bad. This thing's quite easy to fly for what it is. Probably not showing up too well on camera out there. Doing a little bit of weird stuff with the wind, but not too bad. I wouldn't think that I don't think this thing could handle much wind. It's fairly calm right now, so too much more wind. I think it would start getting a little, a little weird. Here it bogged down a little bit doing those really tight funnels. It flies nice though. Smooth and stable and precise, nimble. I am a big fan of six axis helicopters. Got the breeze kicking up now. Sounds like my timer is about to go off, maybe a minute left. I think I've pretty much showed all there is. Kind of fly it out for a bit until the timer tells us it's time to stop. stronger breeze is starting to mess with it. Alright, well there's the timer, so I'll bring her back in for landing. Alright, throttle hold on. And there we have it, that's the Blade Nano CPS, the new updated version of the CPX with the uh, added safe six-axis six self-leveling stabilization system. Pretty cool, makes this thing a really nice sporty flyer, really easy to fly, and just a real joy, nice and stress-free flying. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the review. I, uh, check the video description for price and purchase link, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.